good morning. I'm gonna take you with me on my day uh, where I do the reckon of the UCI gravel series cup. Uh, Falkenburg, you can skip to the reckon immediately if you like. I don't want to see this bitch talk a lot. But you can also stay to hang out with me for a bit more. And we are gonna go to the course, but first up... Breakfast! Beautiful. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Caution. Roadworks. I'll do anything for a way This is the Shimano Experience Center. I know that this is the beginning, you go over the bridge. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna get ready. I've got the bike in the back. So this is where you start, Shimano Experience Center. So this is the beginning. I guess with a thousand people, it's gonna be a lot of pushing here since the road is not that big. Here you get on a big road, but soon you go to the right again over another bridge. Um, yeah, it's a good road, but uh, it's hard to pass someone. And we're going to the Cowberg now. Here you turn up. This is quite um, a wide road, so I think everyone will be blowing themselves up here trying to pass people. But of course, you can get some advantages also out of sitting more in front. four and a half bar for the tires which i'm very happy about i thought in the beginning it might be too hard because the descents are like a lot of different stones or roads and then a lot of bumps um but there's a lot of gravel i thought there would also be more road you know keep surprising me top of the Kuteberg right now and apparently there's the first like post you know where people can give food and drinks it's uh, here until now I've noticed pretty technical descents also quite small uh, with a lot of bumps my chain fell off four times in the first I think it's like 20k I've done so uh, it's not so good we need to do something about that um, but yeah I would recommend everyone to sit in the front of course not everyone can sit in the front but um, there's also some single track as you saw on videos um, not a lot of road I thought it was gonna be a lot of road but it's really almost a lot of gravel and constantly up and down um, and also the gravel that is flat has quite some bumps and uh, holes in the road so yeah it's it's tough and I'm not even halfway so.
shorts, but you know, who wants a 10 line? pretty flat compared to the first part so that's nice it is way more dirty here though so you have to follow the lines fuck what is this climb no oh my god oh it's not that long never mind but um yeah um almost done one lap and uh the hills that are in there are like steep ones I have a 34 in the back, uh, which is not ideal, but it's only like four or five climbs where you really need lighter, like a bigger gear, so you'll be fine. Whew. I said about the last part not being too hilly, I take it back. I don't know how it looks on camera, but I promise you it's, it's steep. <laughs> part where uh, you go here when you do another lap but for the finish you go that way you can see it here it's pretty in the beginning um, so in the beginning of the ride I came from here and then I went like this and then you go whoop 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 you know like whoop whoop and then at the end you go to the left but I'm gonna go again to the Kutteberg because I like to torture myself They're also pretty dirty. I'm happy I chose a bit of profile on the side or to know if that's what it's called in English. Grip on the side and flat in the middle. I think I have slicks on, which is actually a cyclocross tire, but who counts? Can be dirty, especially because they said it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain again tomorrow. Steep parts, you need some grip because you can literally slip. So. That's my advice, but you know, who listens to a 19 year old who talks to herself into a camera? I don't even do that. And here is the Shimano Experience Center. Close up. So, if you want, you can see my ride on Strava. Um, also, I'll upload the ride from Sunday on Strava, the race, of course. Um, maybe I'll post something about it on my Instagram. This was the part about the gravel. So thank you for watching if you just came for the wagon. Even though I'm totally soaked with sweat, I still deserve a little treat because I still deserve love. And I'm gonna give that by buying myself a protein drink because I forgot my protein shake. Hey, I bought this, pro this protein clock, but I don't have a spoon. I mean, I knew I was up for challenge when I bought it, but you know, it just it really hits harder when you confront it, confronted, it, confirm, you know what I mean, with your decisions. I'm not gonna tell you how I'm gonna eat this because I have an idea, but uh, not that. Um,
I wanted to make a last part about when I like how I clean my bike, uh, but then my dad came in and he kind of said like, should I wash your bike? And then I kind of said yes. We'll save that for another time. And I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next video will maybe be about the gravel event, but I'll probably am um, very busy, so I'll film a bit and maybe it comes like in another video. Right, Loa. Thank you for watching.